Alright, this is Kirma Mine, and last time we left off was uh, pretty much installing um, Kali into um, VirtualBox here. Today we're gonna um, go ahead and run it, update it, and install some tools. So when when we do that, um, let's go to the Kali Linux over here um, website and then see what actually we're gonna be doing because I forget all the commands. Mm -hmm. Silly me. Should be the documentation. You can look at the video, you don't have to go through this. So basically, we're gonna do all this right here. All that right there. That's what we're gonna be doing. Um this this part in the front. Um I'm not gonna be doing um yeah, I guess we'll do that. Uh let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and run. And this will allow you to increase the size of your um, virtual box uh, screen and also um, let you move files from within Kali, uh, vir basically virtual box within virtual box of Kali and out into your um, computer, like out. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so let's start it up. Should have another one popping up. So if you install this correctly, everything should be loading just fine. And I'm gonna be pausing every once in a while to save time and um, all that fun stuff. Just hit enter. It'll usually do it by itself. All right. So basically, just click on other, and when you log in, type in root, and then um, hit login. Then right here, it's the password you created while installing Kali within the first video of this. So mine was that, and then I can properly log in. Once you logged in, you're gonna notice that your um thing is always on mute. You can leave, go it up, and it'll unmute itself. But it'll when every single time you boot, it'll always be on mute. So let's go ahead and fix that before we do anything else so click on your uh, terminal here and in the terminal hopefully this works in the terminal we will get apt git install oops spelled that wrong and then just click y on your keyboard hit enter and then it should pretty much install on its own hopefully this works I'll restart it and see if it doesn't like mute myself again. I don't know why it does that. Might might be a fix for you, might not be. So this is the fix that I found out that worked for me. Alright, now that it is completely installed, you can go ahead and close it and then just to make sure uh it reboots over here where it says root. Go ahead and click on that, click shut down, and then when this pops up just click restart. You can also shut down right here as well. So restart. And if you heard a boom or something when you started up, they're pretty much unmuted anymore when you boot up Kali. So, log in. So when you look up here, you should no longer be muted and that's how we do it so we'll go back into installing the tools now so pardon me while I move around the thing so open up this thing first thing we're going to do is apt get update apt get update all this fun stuff Then we're gonna install the um, Linux headers. Uh, if we don't install this, then basically it, it doesn't have enough to compile to create the. I forget what it is, but it's for the screen size. You won't be able to control your screen size. So let's go ahead and install the headers. So apt get install um, Linux headers. That's minus Linux headers. All one. All basically one word. Uh, minus again, dollar sign, and then um, I uh, forget what that's called. You, you'll probably correct me. You name, you name, you no. 
minus r or tag r and then this will pretty much give us our without needing to type in all that fancy stuff um, this will go ahead and search it for us and install whatever we have so go ahead and hit enter click yes and then go ahead and let it install alright once it's completely installed you should basically get this your thing again um, you can go ahead and close it for now you can go up here on your um, virtual box and it says where it says machine view devices I think it's machine and then where is it, it should be install tools or something like that I forget what's it called Alright, so I think it's under device, insert guest additional CD image. No, maybe? Is it? Just go ahead and get console, double click on the CD there. Yeah, I think this is it. Um, well, I'm using the 32 bit. Let's see what it says to 32 bit. Okay. Let's see the drivers. Get the flag, track CD. I have no idea what that says. Alright, so basically it's just this file right here. It's the vbox linux editions.run. Go ahead and copy that and then I'll paste it right in there. So, right in there. Open up your um, terminal again. Get this a little bit higher. And then we're going to type in ch mode, which should be the read and write and permissions properties. Yeah, it should give it the uh, executable uh, permission. So just go ahead, drag and drop it, and it should look like this. So ch mod seven fifty five, and then just drag and drop it. Uh, space between the five and the uh, single quote, and then once you have it all in there, type it enter. Should be fine right there. And then once you do that, you will have to go into this or you can type no you have to go into it so uh, ls cd uh, desktop because this is where I placed it to it was on the desktop so go ahead and hit enter and ls again you should see it right there go ahead and right click and copy it uh, I think yeah like that it's uh forward slash period and then go ahead and paste it right on there so that's uh yeah that's the paste right there use the right click on the mouse because I think it's like control shift or I don't know something like that and then go ahead and click enter whoops I think it was the other way uh, period forward slash was it? I have no idea anymore yep there it is it was period forward slash my bad I keep forgetting all these commands. So uh, once that runs, let it go ahead and run. Um, I'll be pausing every once in a while to see if there's anything that needs to be added or done or whatever. You know, all that fun stuff. All right, so pretty much it does it all by itself and uh, builds everything, does everything for us. So go ahead and close and then restart the entire uh, virtual box. So, oops, wrong one. I'll click on your root, shut down, and shut down completely. I'm going to restart everything. Once it's completely shut down, go ahead and click the start button. And all that fun stuff should start appearing. Go ahead and just click enter to hurry it up. And um, we'll be back.
once it loads, it shouldn't be ginormous um, screen anymore. Go ahead and just type in root. And then whatever you make this password, you should log in. You can actually um, make this bigger now so you can scroll it. And then call the inside will actually go to the size that you have it. So, and you can see no more scrolls on the side and everything will fit into the uh, size of the screen. So this is why you want to install these. Um, the, what's it called? The um, VBox Linux uh, uh, additions. Uh, and then also the Alasa for this so it doesn't always come out muted. And um, that's pretty much it. So this is the how to do that. So as you can see I was pretty much doing this on the fly. I made a lot of mistakes and um, <laughs> this is basically me just trying to figure things out. And This is how everybody else should be. So you last time I asked you guys where you guys were from and I also asked you why would you why do you want to or how are you going to use your Linux box um I'm not exactly sure what should I ask now any witty comments in the comment section I don't know honestly I hope you enjoy Linux as much as I do uh, become something more aware of what you're capable of doing and actually it looks just something pretty neat even if it's not very much it's actually pretty neat to get started somewhere. So this is Cure My Mind saying, why? Why would you listen to me? Why? No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, stay tuned. If, if not, then see you guys on the flip side. Or is that how it's said? I don't know. Anyways, bye.